illustrator. I make picture books and comics and I also teach sketchnoting which is a really useful tool for learning or if you're in the workplace for communication. Um, today what I'd really love to talk to you about is doodling because I think doodling is something that we kind of think it's something that kids do but uh, I believe it's a really really powerful tool for um, managing our, our mental health and our well-being. It's something that's really quick and really easy to do and you don't need fancy materials to do it. Uh, some of the things that I think doodling can do for you and what they help me with is um, if you have a lot of like thoughts, anxious thoughts going around in your head, um, it can be a really soothing way to, to release those thoughts onto the page. Um, and in that process, it can also help to connect your mind and your body. So it can be quite centering. Um, and I also think it's a great way to focus your attention. If you really want to listen to something um, or you're trying to learn something, um, just the act of doodling itself can really help to anchor the mind. I really hope you enjoy the exercises today and that they get you started on your own doodle journey. And if this is something that you'd be interested in finding out more about, keep an eye on my social media because I'll be running doodle workshops in the coming months. So keep an eye out for those. Um, and in the meantime, enjoy the video. For the first exercise, you're gonna grab a sheet of paper and a pen or a pencil or a marker and draw a box in the center of the page and we're going to do a pattern in this box. We're going to do a spiral pattern. And starting anywhere in the box, start drawing your spiral. I'd like you to go slowly enough so that you're paying attention and you're trying to keep the lines separate so that they don't bump off each other. This isn't so that your spirals look perfect. It's to really help you to coordinate your mind with your body, to really help focus your attention. If you want and you have different coloured pens or markers, you can do the spirals in a, in a, a mix of different colours. You can dot your spirals anywhere around the box or you can do them all side by side, work from one corner out. The key thing is, is that you're going to fill every white space with a spiral, big or small. Really take your time with this one. It's a really nice one to do at the end of a long busy day when your head is full of everything that's gone on, conversations you've had, things that you meant to do, things that are worrying you. Just really let whatever is in your head come out. So in the video here, I've just done the spirals. But what you could also do with this one is as thoughts or words pop into your head, just jot them down there in the middle of the pattern and spiral around the words. You could fill a whole sheet of paper, it doesn't need to be a box. You could have a whole sheet in your notebook or your sketchbook or a whole A4 sheet of paper like this one. And you could just keep doing your spirals and writing the words as they pop into your head. And you want to give yourself at least 15 or 20 minutes for this one to really take your time with it. So by the time you've filled your your box or your page with spirals and there's no blank spaces left. You should hopefully feel a lot calmer and be ready to have a relaxing evening and a good night's sleep. For this exercise, I'd like you to pick a word. It can be any kind of word. It could be a feeling word, a word that makes you feel good. It could be something funny. It could be something completely silly. For the purposes of today's exercise, I'm picking the word hope. So what we're going to do for the first half of the exercise is we're going to experiment with different lettering styles. You can make up your own styles. You can have a look online at different kinds of lettering and take inspiration from those.
for the second half of the exercise, we're sticking with our word and this time we're going to look at ways to write the word in a way that shows the meaning of the word. So this is kind of a combination of lettering and drawing. But keeping it doodly, it doesn't need to look all perfect and shiny. So with hope here, as you can see, I've done the, the O shape. I've turned it into a sunshine. And for the second one, I've written hope like it's coming out from behind the clouds. Again, like the sun coming out from behind the clouds. I've used the joined up lettering version of Hope to be like a song that a bird is singing. And then for the, the last Hope, I've done the O as a plant, a flowering plant. So this is a lovely one to do if you want to focus your mind and meditate on a word that has meaning for you. For our last and probably our most fun exercise, we're going to look at turning our doodles into characters. So keeping things really simple, we're going to use basic shapes like a square, a circle, a triangle to draw some objects. I'm starting here with a pencil using a rectangle shape and a triangle and some lines. Now the magic happens when I add the eyes, which are basically two circles with dots in them. Suddenly this pencil is alive. I can give my pencil a name and if I wanted to take it further, I could think about things that Petey the pencil likes. For instance, his pal Natalie the notebook and things he doesn't like, like Derek the dastardly pencil sharpener. You can really have fun with this one. Draw anything, it could be a blob. Just add a pair of eyes to it and watch it come to life. Thanks for joining me, hope you enjoyed the video and got some useful tips for starting your own doodle journey.